Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 53. Bias. What is bias? Bias is something that occurs when there is systemic error or favor in a particular direction. What is selection bias? Selection bias is non-random assignment to participation in a study group. Give examples of selection bias. Example of selection bias is Bergson bias and loss to follow up. What is recall bias? Recall bias is knowledge of presence of disorder which alters the recall by subjects. This is common in retrospective studies. What is sampling bias? Sampling bias is when the subjects are not representative of the general population. Therefore, results are not generalizable. And this is type of a selection bias. What is late look bias? Late look bias is information gathered at an inappropriate time. Give an example of late look bias. An example of late look bias would be using a survey to study a fatal disease. If you're studying a fatal disease, only the people that would be able to answer this would be patients still alive. The people that have already died would not be able to answer the survey. Therefore, this would be a type of late look bias. What is procedure bias? Procedure bias is when subjects in different groups are not treated the same. Give an example of procedure bias. An example of procedure bias would be when more attention is paid to the treatment group and in this it would simulate a greater adherence. What is confounding bias? Confounding bias is something that occurs when factor is related to both exposure and outcome but it's not on the causal pathway. So in confounding bias, the factor distorts or confuses effects of exposure on the outcome. What is lead time bias? Lead time bias is when early detection of disease is confused with increase in survival. And this sort of thing is seen with improved screening because in this, natural history of disease has not changed but because we're able to detect it early, it makes it seem like the survival has increased. What is observer expectancy effect? Observer expectancy effect occurs when researchers belief in the efficacy of a treatment changes the outcome of that treatment. What is the Hawthorne effect? Hawthorne effect is something that occurs when group being studied changes its behavior owing to the knowledge of being studied. So just because they know that some people are studying them, they change their behavior. Name the five ways of reducing bias. The ways to reduce bias, number one, is to have blind studies to limit influence of participants and researchers on the interpretation of outcomes. Number two is to have placebo control groups. Number three is to have crossover studies in which each subject acts as own control to limit confounding bias. Number four is randomization to limit selection bias and confounding bias. And number five is matching to reduce confounding bias. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.